hey, are you a homeowner in Huron County or interested in becoming one? I've got the current stats on what happened in the real estate market in Huron County in November, 2023. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I have a lot to dissect here so you can understand how this market compares to the recent years so that you can take advantage of some hidden opportunities, whether you're thinking of buying or selling. Okay, let's get started. In November, we saw a decrease in activity again, but let's really dive into some comparisons for another perspective later in this video. In November, there were 5.6 months of inventory available in Huron County, which technically means that we're in a balanced market, but realistically, we are feeling a strong buyer's market out there. What does that mean? Months of supply tells us how many months it would take for all the homes currently on the market to sell, given the average sales volume. Four to six months of inventory indicates a more balanced market, Less than four months means that there's not a lot of inventory available, which can drive prices up. More than six months of supply means that there's a lot of properties available for buyers to choose from, which can drive prices down. So how is that number trending versus last month? Well, it's up from 5.5 months, which isn't a surprise to me as we're headed into the winter market where more properties tend to sit because the majority of the population doesn't like to move in the cold or when our snow belt hits here on county. And if you don't know what I mean, check out some of the pros and cons videos I have linked below. I wouldn't conclude yet that it means that the market shifting beyond what it normally does this time of the year, with also factoring in the adjustments buyers have had to make with their budgets from the interest rates this year. In November, 2022, there was 2.8 months of supply, which is a 100% increase. I'm gonna chat about this later in the video. Okay, the average price for a home in Huron County was just under $508,000. Keep in mind, this metric includes rural properties and smaller price condos. The average price is down 8% compared to last month and down 12% versus last year. The single family home category averaged around $539,000, which is down just over $71,000 versus last month. But what's interesting is in 2022, if you compare November and December, the average price for a home went up in December about $42,000. So it's gonna be enticing to see if we see any similarities next month when we review the numbers. All right, the average list of sale price ratio was 97.6 in November. This means that properties were selling for 97.6 of list price. That is up 2% compared to last month and also 2% compared to last year. These numbers have remained relatively stable since July with only minimal fluctuation month over month. So that's a good indication for sellers to budget when listing their home and creating expectations in their mind. However, <laughs> this only rings true if you price your property fairly from the start. This isn't a market to be overpricing to see what happens. It will only hinder your listing but also create frustration when it sits on the market. Thus, stay ahead of market prices and take into consideration the comparables for your property in relation to the list to sale price ratio. This will help you price your home properly from the start and gain traction quickly so that you can avoid price reductions later that leave your listing stale. How long is it taking for properties to sell? On average for November in Huron County, it was taking 56 days for a property to sell. That is slightly slower than last month at a 6% increase or three days. In 2022, it was taking 49 days in November, which is a 14% increase year over year. Okay, if you're thinking about buying real estate in the near future, Mortgage rates are ranging between 5.64 to 6.3 with Guiding Star Mortgage Group. These rates are going to depend if you're going fixed or variable and whether you're getting financing through a bank or an alternative lender. Luckily, the market isn't as shell-shocked by the rates anymore and active buyers have been adjusting their budgets to continue working through this market. There is still one more announcement on December 6th. We'll wait to see what they decide. My hopes are that they remain untouched as I think much of the country is feeling some tough times right now. If you need help finding a trusted mortgage agent, we have an in-house mortgage team called Guiding Star that is powered by Dominion Lending Center that can provide a pre-approval within 24 hours of re-receiving your documentation. As promised earlier, I want to break down a few things I mentioned with another viewpoint. We saw a 41% decrease in sales month over month. We saw a 33% decrease in activity if we compare year over year to November 2022. So let's dive into some of those so you're not completely frightened by these stats. In November 2022, we had 185 homes on the market. Last month in November, we had 322 homes for sale. 
So if we compare the amount of homes sold in November 2022, there were 51 homes sold. And in November 2023, right now, there were 34 homes sold. So that's only a difference of 17 sales versus having 137 more homes for sale this year. Stay with me here. You would think that there would be more homes selling last year around this time because they were in a higher demand seller's market around 2.8 months of inventory, which is double what it is right now at 5.6. Remembering that higher months of inventory means it usually drives prices down. So what I think is that although buyers have much more inventory to pick and choose from, the buyers that are shopping are serious and are willing to strike a deal with sellers for the right property. If you're a seller, you need to put your best foot forward to price aggressively to get buyers engaged with your listing. Sellers, make sure you're laying your cards on the table if you're eager to sell. Now is not the time to be playing hardball and making buyers read your mind. Buyers, keep your eyes peeled for the right one and take advantage of your shopping options and negotiating terms that protect you while it's still comfortable to do so. To wrap this up, whether you're buying or selling, your situation is always unique and a general market update should be taken with a grain of salt. If you wanna know where you stand on your home or you're thinking about buying and wanna know where some of the hidden opportunities may lie, you can either request a free, no obligation market evaluation or book a call with me to have a no pressure conversation about your options. I'll always just give you the real down to earth advice so that you're informed to make the best decision that's right for you based on your personal situation. If you think that that would be helpful, you can click the link with this video and set it up. Otherwise, feel free to check out my other videos and I'll be back next month with an updated report.